motherfuckers got in there. So you pair are a couple fucking lightweight. Jesus. Plus, you disappeared from the bar last night. I'm turning the place upside know. down. I have no recollection. I thought you were kidnapped. I'm looking outside. I'm asking the bartender. I'm going. I'm going around with your picture and shit. Where was it? From Montana. Yeah, Mike. Say, I said, hey, have you seen this motherfucker? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That's a TV show. I, I, did. Put, I put you on a fucking milk carton, Bruce. So we finally said, fuck him. And we went out to the truck. <laughs> You're passed out on the fucking truck. How you got in it, I don't even know. What? Yes, we found you in the parking lot, passed out, <laughs> totally fucking drunk. Totally. Totally passed out drunk. And I went to bed around 1, and you were still in... The truck. I came in at 3.30. Oh, well, I was wondering if you was ever going to wake up. Because I could have just drove you straight to the fucking funeral home. I know. And just fucking pushed you out and said, hey, uh, here, here, here he is. Cremated his ass. And you know, he, Dave, when I got up at 6.03, <laughs> I made it to the bathroom. And then I realized my glasses were gone. I almost tore your truck apart. Hunting for my glasses, and I knew they were at the freaking restaurant. They go in there, and I'm, I'm walking through it. I notice the covers on the couch, and I thought, well, what is dummies? Why have that? What are those dummies slipped on the couch? <laughs> so, after an hour searching for my glasses and trying to read text messages and things through the bottom of a glass, I finally found my glasses in there from that table. Because Pudgy came in and tucked your ass in, took your glasses off, put a blankie on your ass. You know, kissed you on the forehead, said good night, Craig. Yeah, you guys are what a pair. Jesus Christ. Well, thanks for the pizza, Dave. Yeah, yeah. But you listen. might as well if you're if you're getting shots, you might as well uh, see that what Pudgy did last night. I uh, made two pizzas. I already told Bruce it looked good for breakfast, to me. But you have to come and take a look at this, Dave. And what kind of a parent does this? to their child. There's two of those guys with that name in the United States. Dick Licky? <laughs> <laughs> Why would anybody... How bad is that? Dick Licky. What were they thinking? Well, you know, there was one down there in uh, Tennessee, I don't know, let's just say a year ago, and the parent wanted to name the kid like Adolf Hitler... Jones or whatever, and the uh, the court said he couldn't do it, and I think it got overturned. I mean, well, remember I had that tenant that I sent you uh, his picture. His name was Harry Peters. Harry what? Peters. Oh, Harry Peters. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that took a second. That no, that that guy lived in Vienna. Harry Peters. Oh, oh we laughed so hard. <laughs> 